The deep sea is home to weird and wonderful creatures that, over millions or maybe billions of years, have evolved special traits to survive in a place that seems uninhabitable. Down here there's no sunlight, barely any food, and the pressure is so intense it would flatten most living things like a pancake. And yet, against all odds, life doesn't just exist. It thrives in some of the strangest ways imaginable. These creatures aren't just everyday fish. Some glow in the dark, others have jaws that unhinge like horror movie monsters, and a few are so alien-looking you'd swear they swam in from another dimension. Nature, faced with absolute darkness and extreme conditions, got extra creative. Today we're going to take a look at 15 bizarre creatures that live in the darkest depths of the ocean. And trust us, once you see them, you won't believe they're real. Umer Pitnasty, Snipe Eel. Eels are already pretty weird, but the snipe eel takes things to cartoonish extremes. Imagine a creature seven feet long, but thinner than a shoelace, patrolling the deep, its head stretched into a needle-nosed snare. That's this guy. Found between 980 and 2,000 feet deep, but sometimes much deeper, the snipe eel is less like a snake and more like a floating piece of electrical wire, but with razor-sharp hooks for teeth. Unlike most eels, the snipe eel doesn't bite down on prey. It rakes it in. Its comically super-long, curved jaws stay open as it swims, snagging tiny shrimp-like creatures like a living net. And those tiny teeth? They face backward, meaning that once something's inside, there's no escape. And just to make things weirder, they don't even have a normal eel mouth. Their jaws never fully close, giving them a constant, unsettling half-smile that makes them look like they're either really pleased with themselves or about to tell a dad joke. If deep-sea evolution had a sense of humor, the snipe eel would be proof. Number 14. Viperfish. Meet the great white shark of the Twilight Zone, except way uglier and way meaner. The viperfish is pure nightmare fuel, armed with a mouthful of fangs so long that it literally can't close its mouth without impaling itself. Some species, like Sloan's viperfish, have teeth so absurdly big that if they closed their jaws, they'd stab their own brain. So, how does this creepy deep-sea horror hunt? Well, like an ambush predator on steroids. Hanging out between 660 and 3,300 feet below the surface, Viperfish use bioluminescent lures on their dorsal fins to attract clueless prey. The second something gets close, wham, they snap their trap-like jaws shut and swallow their meal whole, and don't think you'd ever see one and live to tell the tale. Viperfish have been known to launch themselves at prey at lightning speeds, using their long, eel-like bodies like a biological torpedo. They don't just bite, they impale, crush, and consume. In short, if the deep sea had horror movie villains, this thing would be the main character. Number 13. Goosefish If you think evolution favors beauty, let us introduce you to the goosefish, a bottom-dwelling predator that looks like someone slapped a face onto a soggy pancake. With a huge, gaping mouth and a flabby, flattened body, these anglerfish cousins couldn't care less about aesthetics, because when you're an apex predator at 3,000 feet deep, who's judging? But here's where it gets wild. Goosefish don't just lie and wait for prey, they literally walk on the seafloor. Their modified fins act like stumpy little legs, allowing them to pivot, crawl, and reposition like some kind of underwater zombie that refuses to die. Their signature move? a bioluminescent lure that dangles from their heads, acting as nature's most effective fishing rod. When an unsuspecting fish, crab, or even a sea star gets too close, bam, the goosefish lunges, swallowing its victim in one horrifying gulp. Goosefish aren't just predators, they're deep-sea trapdoors with teeth, and they'll sit still for as long as it takes to get their next meal. Number 12. Briar Shark. Sharks have a reputation for being fast, muscular hunters, but the briar shark is built for something else entirely, stealth. 
Found at depths of 2,000 to 3,300 feet, this ghostly gray-brown shark isn't a speed demon. It's a patient, slow-moving predator that senses prey long before it attacks. Its most bizarre feature? That ridiculously long snout. The briar shark's beak-like nose is covered in sensory pores, allowing it to detect the faintest movements of fish, squid, and crustaceans in total darkness. And when it finally strikes, it doesn't go for a chaotic kill. It uses saw-like teeth to take precise cookie-cutter bites, tearing off chunks of flesh like a surgeon with a switchblade. But despite its haunting presence, the briar shark is in danger. It's frequently caught as bycatch, an unintentional victim of deep-sea fishing. And while it's not directly targeted, its slow reproductive rate means that every lost briar shark is a serious hit to its population. Number 11. Lanternfish. If hide-and-seek had a global championship, this thing would be undefeated. These unassuming swimmers, just one to six inches long, spend their days lurking in the twilight zone of the ocean, anywhere from 1,300 to 3,000 feet deep. But when night falls, they embark on one of the largest mass migrations on Earth, rising to just 82 feet from the surface to feed. This daily commute, known as deal vertical migration, is the biggest synchronized movement of life on the planet, yet most people have never even heard of it. So, what makes these little guys special? Built-in glow sticks. Lanternfish are decked out with photophores, tiny bioluminescent organs that allow them to glow in the dark. They use this eerie light to camouflage, communicate, and attract mates. But here's the problem, plastic pollution. Lanternfish mistake microplastics for food, which then gets passed up the food chain, affecting predators, including the ones we eat. These glowing morsels may be small, but their fate is tied to the entire ocean ecosystem and to us. Number 10, dragonfish. If the deep sea had a mafia, the dragonfish would be the enforcer. This thing is built to kill in darkness, razor fangs, stealth mode, and a bio-lantern that lures victims straight into its jaws. Found as deep as 14,800 feet, dragonfish don't chase their food. They trap it. Here's the wild part. Female dragonfish have fangs so high-tech, they put sharks to shame. Their translucent teeth are packed with nanocrystals, making them sharper, stronger, and virtually invisible in the dark. A dragonfish doesn't bite. It snaps like a mousetrap, piercing through flesh before its prey even knows what happened. And if that wasn't enough, it's decked out in bioluminescent armor, a body covered in tiny glowing dots used to signal to other dragonfish. To us, it looks like a floating horror movie prop. To them, it's a secret flashing language in the abyss. Bottom line? If you're a small fish in the deep sea, the last thing you'll ever see is a ghostly glow then darkness forever. Number nine, cockeyed squid. Imagine waking up one day and realizing one of your eyes is twice the size of the other. That's not a medical emergency. That's just life for the cockeyed squid. Born with perfectly normal matching eyes, this squid evolves into a living optical illusion. As it grows, its left eye balloons into a massive yellow-tinged scope while the right eye stays tiny. But this freak mutation isn't a mistake. It's a survival cheat code. Here's why. The big eye is a telescope designed to scan upward for prey silhouetted against the dim glow from above. The small eye is a wide angle lens watching for bioluminescent predators sneaking up from below. It's like having night vision goggles and a periscope at the same time. And just to make things weirder, the cockeyed squid swims at a permanent tilt, always angling its big eye up, small eye down. It's not broken. It's a deep sea sniper built for precision. Number eight, black sea devil. Romance in the deep sea is not cute. Case in point, the black sea devil, a golf ball sized nightmare with a glowing head lure and a love life straight out of a horror movie. The females, Eight inches of pure fanged terror. The males?
pathetic one-inch parasites whose only goal in life is to find a female and latch on, literally. Here's how it works. A male finds a female, bites into her flesh, and then melts into her. Over time, his body fuses with hers, his eyes, fins, and organs dissolve, and he becomes a permanent sperm factory. Some females carry multiple males stuck to them, like a grotesque biological USB hub of husbands. Meanwhile, the female goes about her day, hunting, glowing, and carrying her collection of fused mates like the queen of deep sea horror. Forget soulmates. In the deep sea, forever means actually becoming part of each other. Number seven, northern wolffish. If fish had bar brawls, the northern wolffish would be the guy cracking knuckles in the corner, waiting for someone to start something. This five foot long bruiser lives in the icy depths of the North Atlantic, where most fish would freeze solid. But not the wolf fish. It has built-in antifreeze proteins that keep its blood flowing, even when the water is colder than your ex's heart. And that's not even its most terrifying feature. Look inside its mouth, and you'll find a row of jagged front teeth, backed by another row of molars. That's right, double the teeth, double the destruction. It uses these bone crushers to annihilate sea urchins, crabs, and even snails, chomping through shells like they're made of soggy bread. And if you ever catch one fishing, do not try to unhook it with your bare hands. A wolf fish bite is strong enough to shatter fingers. Number six, frilled shark. Frilled sharks are elusive deep sea creatures, typically found at depths of 1,600 to 3,280 feet, making sightings incredibly rare. With their long, eel-like bodies and approximately 300 sharp triangular teeth arranged in 25 rows, they may have inspired legendary sea monster tales. These unique sharks can grow up to five or six feet in length. Curiously, despite their fascinating features, no one has ever observed a frilled shark feeding. Well, we just love this beauty. Number five, black swallower. The black swallower is the stuff of deep sea legend, but not because it's a great hunter. No, this thing is famous for biting off more than it can chew. At just 10 inches long, it looks harmless until you see what it's eaten. This fish has an expandable stomach that allows it to gulp down prey four times its length and 10 times its weight. That's like a human swallowing a whole cow in one bite. But here's where things get tragic. Sometimes it gets too greedy. If the black swallower eats a meal too big, it can't digest it fast enough. The food starts decomposing inside it, producing gas. The result? The swallower inflates like a balloon and floats helplessly to the surface, dead. So yeah, this fish doesn't just live dangerously, it literally dies from eating too much. Number four, deep sea lizard fish. The deep sea lizard fish doesn't just hunt, it waits. With razor sharp fangs embedded in its jaws and even its tongue, this predator lurks motionless on the ocean floor, head raised until an unlucky creature swims overhead. Then, snap. The lizard fish strikes with lightning speed, swallowing prey whole. Living between 2,000 and 11,500 feet deep, this 25-inch long fish has hypersensitive eyes designed to detect even the faintest bioluminescent glow of passing animals. And when food is scarce, it doesn't hesitate to turn cannibal. Even stranger, it's a hermaphrodite, meaning it has both male and female reproductive organs. In the vast emptiness of the deep sea, this adaptation doubles its chances of finding a mate. Cold, calculating and willing to eat its own, the deep sea lizard fish is a true super predator of the abyss. Number three, cookie cutter shark. Imagine a shark that doesn't kill its prey. It just takes a chunk and swims away. That's the cookie cutter shark a 19-inch long parasite that drills perfect circular wounds into the flesh of whales, dolphins, fish, and even submarines. This deep-sea menace lurks 1,000 feet below the surface, waiting to strike. Using its suction-like lips, 
It latches onto its target, then twists its serrated teeth like a can opener, slicing out a cookie-shaped chunk of flesh. The result? A perfect round wound that looks like someone took a hole punch to the victim's skin. And the trickery doesn't stop there. With bioluminescent organs covering its underside, the cookie cutter shark glows from below, making it look like a harmless little fish to predators. The dark collar around its neck creates an illusion that its head is floating separately, tricking larger animals into coming closer. By the time they realize the truth, the shark has already taken its bite. Number two, flapjack octopus. Forget everything you know about octopuses. The flapjack octopus is pretty different. Found lying flat like an orange pancake on the seafloor, this chubby, cartoonish cephalopod is one of the cutest creatures in the deep sea. Unlike most octopuses, it can't change color, doesn't have an ink sac, and lacks the radula, the rough, tongue-like organ used to tear food apart. Instead, it drifts lazily through the water, using its webbed arms and tiny flapping fins, which look suspiciously like elephant ears, to swim. Part of a rare group called serrate octopods, the flapjack octopus is more of a slow, floaty wanderer than a hunter. Its round body and stubby limbs make it look more like a sentient dumpling than a deep sea predator, which is why it's sometimes compared to the Pokemon Omanyte, or Ditto. In a world of fangs, claws, and bioluminescent horror, the flapjack octopus is proof that the deep sea can be cute, too. Number one, vampire squid. The vampire squid is not a vampire, not a squid, and definitely not from hell. But it is one of the slickest escape artists in the ocean. Unlike true squids, this shadowy webbed cephalopod doesn't hunt. Instead, it drifts lazily through the deep, feeding on marine snow, tiny bits of dead stuff floating down from above. It's basically the janitor of the abyss. But when threatened, the vampire squid pulls off a vanishing act worthy of a magician. Instead of ink, it releases a glowing mucus-like cloud filled with tiny pulsing lights, a dazzling bioluminescent smoke screen. If that's not enough, it flips its webbed arms over its body, creating a spiky cloak that makes it look like a floating demon. And the eyes? Massive. The vampire squid has the biggest eyes, proportionally, of any animal on Earth, giving it insane night vision for spotting predators before they spot it. It's not a killer. It's not a monster. It's a deep-sea ghost, slipping through the abyss, untouchable and unseen. If you enjoyed watching this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.